The master bathroom was also a big reconfiguration. The bathroom actually only went to here, so you had a tub shower, a toilet here, and a vanity. So I took the closet out that was adjacent to the bathroom and extended another foot and created this big bathroom. I moved the vanity here and by doing a wall mounted toilet was able to move the waste pipe here. So I built this out because the tanks in the wall and matched it on that side so the vanity is recessed. The tub is here and the shower is here. Now when you're working with a reconfiguring of a bathroom, to be able to put a shower there, we elevated the tub so the drain pipe goes all the way under and connects to the waste stack. I mirrored this wall so it reflects the window opposite. And then over here I did a vanity in the lacquered wood with the nickel trim and the white counters. I chose this dark wood because I wanted some contrast to this very spa-like space. look great while you're in them. Do they look nice from the hallway or adjacent spaces? We're going to talk now uh, with Brian about how to improve the sight lines in your home. This is something you might not be thinking about when you put together your room, but then as soon as everything's set up and you're looking down that hallway or you're looking through your kitchen into the dining room it's, or the living room, everything looks a little bit askew. It's true. And you know, I was in uh, a, a space being renovated, not one of mine, but I happened to be in it. And I said, I look down the hall, I see the pattern of the wallpaper off mm. and the, everything off. And I'm like, well, why didn't you center that in the hall? And they said, well, it's centered once you get around the corner. No, that's no. not how it has to be done. So you have to have sight lines, great sight lines. Everything has yes. to be centered. So here we have, if you were looking from the hallway, let's say into the dining room or the living room, yes. you want that centered on the opening. Okay, well, so, let's see how that looks. So that looks wrong. Completely wrong. So the picture's a so, little bit off. Yes, it might the look right. a little bit off. It might look right inside the room, but you want to make, let's see. So you want to move this all. So when you're looking you from one room into lifting? the next. Yeah, that's good. It's centered. That's good. So you always want to look at that. You yeah. always want to look at the sight lines wherever you're designing a space because that's sort of really, you know, a, a major element in design. That's like 101. It's 101. So we've got a bunch of pictures and you're going to see the point um, really clearly here. These are clients of Brian's, and you can see right down the hallway into the, is it a bedroom? Yeah, so this was, this was a, a, like a 30 foot long hall. When you came up the stairs, you see all the way down. Yeah. So when I was standing there, I thought, okay, I have got to have a picture. You can see the full picture mm -hmm. and the chair when you're looking down, because that was really an important sight line. So you get a little moment, right? So here, exactly. once again, look at this. You get a little moment. Exactly. You look through the, uh, the entrance way and look at the lighting fixture there. So you're looking from the living room into the dining room, the table center, the fixture mm. center, the art center. You know, we're doing a project right now where in the dining room, the way the architect has designed it, the table would be completely off-centered. So the fixture would be off-centered. And when you're looking through those doorways, it just looks wrong. Right. So we're reconfiguring how the doorways work. Okay. We also have this, uh, a beautiful little moment, uh, just even with this shelving here. Everything is completely symmetrical. Yes, this is looking into a kitchen area. So you yep. turn the corner and the kitchen is right there between the dining room and the living room. But when that door opens, from the dining room into that kitchen pantry area, you want to see that beautiful moment of that piece of art yes. and that little shelf unit centered on that door. Absolutely. Um, and this gorgeous foyer. Exactly. So that's, that's looking beautiful. through a front door and seeing into this hallway again, centered on the space. It just looks more relaxed. There's there's a, not a good tension when it's off. It just doesn't feel right. Now think of going down a full hallway there, all those doors on either side, the art is right, and then it's a, a gorgeous plant and a window at the end of that. So every Everything centered. Now picture another sight line. You're looking all the way down a hallway and you see this, uh, what we have here in studio perfectly lined up art exactly and, bench. and a bench and you know what I do is you know when I'm photographing things and I'm Instagramming them I'm always looking at the sight line and if you want photograph those sight lines in your house and when you see it in a picture you'll really it's like seeing a picture right. of yourself you're like oh so <laughs> I didn't realize I look like that oh, so okay. when you when you do that to your house take some pictures of that hallway and you'll really see how that works yeah, but you smart. want that you know we didn't do a big piece here we did some small pieces but like you said earlier it's a moment you right. want when 
when you turn the corner, you see this beautiful moment. When you look into the dining room, when you look down the hallway, yes. all those things. It just feels more natural in the space when everything is, is lined up with those sight lines. So this is the one thing we can say is kind of good about social media because it is making us yes, think in moments. Anybody do. that's doing any photography at work, at home, you're looking for that symmetry. You're looking for things to make sense according to your eyeballs. Correct, correct. So it's kind of good. And all it takes is sort of shifting things um, so that they are in the center like you've done here with these beautiful pieces. Great lesson, my friend. I like that. Great.